On March 17, 1930, in the shadow of the Great Depression, construction began on a building that would become the icon of the New York City skyline, the Empire State Building. A testament to optimism in the face of economic uncertainty, it would become one of the most famous properties in commercial real estate and be considered one of the seven wonders of the modern world. Everything about this spectacular operation, its height, its scale, the speed with which it was erected, symbolized American ascendancy, that it was a technological power, a business power that competed on the world stage. Now, in the midst of a new economic crisis and concerns about climate change, a diverse group of organizations is retrofitting the Empire State Building for the next century, radically improving its energy efficiency, indoor environment, and carbon footprint. They are reinventing the Empire State Building to be a new icon of sustainability. When you look at really every city of the world, especially those in more developed countries, the biggest single source of carbon emissions is the energy use in buildings. Uh, it's often in the 70 to 80 percent of the total energy used in a city goes into the operation of buildings. The only way we're really going to impact reduction in energy usage and resources and carbon and things like that is to tackle the issue of existing building retrofits. Teams from the Clinton Climate Initiative, energy consultants Rocky Mountain Institute, building efficiency experts Johnson Controls, and real estate services provider Jones Lang LaSalle gathered in the summer of 2008 for an innovation workshop to overcome the diverse challenges of retrofitting commercial buildings. Everyone talks about energy modeling. Well, we do energy modeling. Everyone talks about building a building profile for energy consumption. Well, we've built it. Everyone talks about determining what the impacts will be from different investments and changes you might make. Well, we're actually doing that here. So via the windows, the envelope, controlling outside air, and through all of those measures, we're able to put in less supply to the building and, and make it a more efficient as well as comfortable place. The innovation here was to take it from somewhere in the 15 to 20 percent savings up to 35 to 40 percent savings. Detailed analysis over the following months led to retrofits that would cost effectively reduce energy use by 38 percent at the Empire State Building and save 105,000 metric tons of CO2 over the next 15 years. In this project, we've shown that we can not only save cost over the long term, but we can reduce carbon and we can increase the value and competitiveness of the buildings. Those are three things that every owner of real estate wants to do. There's more and more evidence now that buildings that are sustainable drive more value, higher sale price, higher rental price. I think that if we can put a model out there that works, others will embrace and that will begin to change the face of real estate. It's a, a win for everybody and a, a shining example of what can be done in big cities all over the world. Government officials, mayors of big cities, are really interested in making a difference and they need examples like this. So it's truly my hope that people will be able to look at what we do here. They'll be able to short circuit all those steps through which the team went to figure out how to design a process. So it has a real rippling effect beyond just this building and this city. There are 3.8 million visitors that come to the Empire State Building every year. We'd also like to share our message of sustainability with those visitors. We couldn't be happier to have something as significant an icon as the Empire State Building that will serve as witness and as a new beacon of how you could be energy efficient and make the world a better place. And this will be one of the finest examples for the world to see. But this is a building everyone in the world knows. This is a project that should get fantastic attention. And if we can show in a building like this that it makes money for the owner and it makes money for the tenants, it's pretty hard for everyone else to ignore it. So this is sort of a fantastic global flagship example for others to copy. The Empire State Building once again has become a symbol of our potential. That through ingenuity, teamwork and resolve, we can meet the challenges of climate change and renew our economy on a foundation of sustainability. This project is not only good for the Earth, for the battle against climate change, it also makes real financial sense. 
If even a fraction of the buildings in the United States or our world were to carry out similar ones, the impact would be profound. More projects like this in the future will continue to create incredible opportunities for change across America and all across the world, helping to save our environment while stimulating genuine economic growth, innovation, and job creation. With all of our economic troubles here in America, it's something we really need now.